Learning hand surgery one point at a time. The changes that occur in compressive neuropathy are in the histopathology, the symptoms that are seen, the physical examination findings, and the nerve conduction studies. Let us see the time frame in which these changes occur. Histopathology wise, the first change that occurs is the breakdown of the blood nerve barrier. There is endoneural edema followed by connective tissue thickening. This leads to focal demyelination leading on to diffuse demyelination and finally axonal degeneration. At the same time, the symptoms that the patient presents with are intermittent paresthesia with or without aching and then continuous paresthesia with or without aching mild weakness and finally numbness, atrophy and weakness of muscles. Clinical examination would reveal positive provocation maneuvers and then abnormal thresholds and finally abnormal two-point discrimination. The nerve conduction studies will reveal reduced latency and slowed conduction velocity in the beginning followed ultimately by reduced sensory nerve action potentials and reduced CMAP amplitude.